Let's move on because the global economy, it is uh, so slowly, coming out, <laughs> slowly coming out of a worldwide recession. But two and a half years on, many out there are still asking questions about how such a crisis could seemingly come out of nowhere and the ratings agencies, well, they've come under fire in particular for, again, the not sort of knowing that this financial tsunami would hit the world. So could that leave space in the market for a new name? Well, one Chinese credit rating firm, De Gong, it's certainly counting on that. Let's get more on that because going straight over to Paris is Mauro Alfonso, General Manager of De Gong Europe, and joins us. Um, Mauro, great to have you, uh, have you with us. We don't have a lot of time, but just briefly, can we start with, for viewers around the world who perhaps don't know the workings of a rating agency, what's the job? What's, what's the primary function, the role? Good morning. Uh, the primary role in our case is to make clear to Chinese investors on what's happening. So uh, our mission is to bring a new voice in this industry and to try to bring the, the Chinese angle in the rating business. So we would like to build a bridge between Chinese investor base and um, European issuers of securities. So that's our job very simply. And okay. we are trying to put something new in the, in the game. Okay, let me ask you this. There's a, a lot of criticism against the other big agencies out there, Moody, Standard & Poor's, Fitch, for not really signalling that this financial crisis, the world, the biggest the world's ever seen, was going to hit. Did you guys get it right? Did you inform your Chinese investors that it was coming in 2007? Oh, uh, yes, of course. That's our uh, mission, to inform them. Uh, I can tell you that uh, um, they are bringing through us uh, a, a new angle uh, to, to look at what's happening and uh, so we are trying to mm, bring a different perspective from what has been done by the big three at the moment. Let me ask you about this just because it's in the, in the main headlines today. Portugal, boy, the borrowing costs are, are absolutely soaring once again, very dangerous levels. Uh, the Eurozone mess is, well, still a big, big mess. I mean, what, what, what's, what's De Gong's take on that? Yes, I can tell you what's the view from, from China. Um, of course, there are a lot of things to be fixed here in Europe, and the demonstration of what's happening today uh, is, is clear. Um, but uh, Chinese investors, they, they do uh, believe that the Eurozone is solid, and they are still investing into it. So, and our initiative is a clear demonstration of, of how confident they are about the Euro, even though they are aware that something has to be uh, um, fixed. Okay, Mauro, great, for, uh, great to have you with us. We appreciate it. Good luck with uh, entering Europe and uh, taking some of that pie there. Mauro Alfonso from De Gong.